Netflix did a wonderful job again by releasing the extraction on the 24th of April 2020. Before we start, let's see how connected extraction is to the film, the meaning of extraction to the movie extraction. So to extract something means to take something else with force, especially with more effort than required. And the film depicted exactly the meaning of extraction. No matter how you are being stopped, you want to extract it. Welcome back to Zahara Movies. I'm Lydia and I'm your host for today. Today we are doing a review on extraction after I watched it and it was a good one. The film was directed by Sam Hargrave and produced by a couple of people including the main character Chris Hemsworth, Anthony Russo and Joe Russo. The film stars Chris Hemsworth who received lots of praise for his performance and the stunt work but a lot of people lamented on the story and the excessive violence in it just because they were extracting something the violence was too much in the story that was what people criticized mostly on i think extraction was a good one and you should check it out in the trailer that was released, I was thinking the film will focus more on the concept of the movie. But after I watched it, I realized it didn't actually go into detail as to the background of the drag lords. It was actually only on the surfaces. I saw the Indian drag lord only once in just one scene. There's no problem with that, but at least I needed to. I wanted to know more about him in the film because they were saving his son. Back to the Dakar drag lord, I was thinking he was going to also show some bit, some form of action or violence, even though he will have people working for him. But it wasn't as I saw. He was a little bit reluctant. In I don't know, he was a little, he was just a little bit reluctant. He didn't look like he was even a drag lord. I never saw him smoking in the film. He didn't look like he was even a drag lord, but all the same was a good one. All the same was a good one. If you haven't checked it out, kindly do. If you haven't checked it out, please do. On review aggregator Rotten Potatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 63% and an average rating of 5.96 over 10 based on 103 reviews. It was also noted that the spectacular stunt work and an electric performance from Chris Hemsworth can't save extraction from being dragged down by its aimless violence. But I don't know if I noticed this concept of extraction alone but I think I saw a little bit of yellowish color too much like the lightning and the editing aspect of it being yellow or greenish was too much even their hair was greenish or yellow yeah I don't know if I noticed it alone but aside that it was a good one the actor was on point the violence was way too much but it was good if you want something violent to watch you can watch extraction we also didn't get at least some stories about the background of Chris Hemsworth, at least a flashback of his family, how he lost his wife, how he lost his son or how his wife looked like or how his wife disappeared. At least a little bit of history of them could have made it a little more spicy. But aside all these, I think it was a good one and you should check it out yourself and see if you agree with me. Because Chris Hemsworth's performance was marvelous, it actually pushed extraction to a higher rank. Even though the violence was too much and it had a lot of complaints, because of Chris Hemsworth's performance, it pushed the movie to a higher rank. The film also weighed an average score of 56 out of 100 based on 29 critics and it was indicating mixed or average reviews people were not so sure whether the movie was good whether it was underestimated whether it was overestimated like the, the goodness of it people were not so sure so they never gave the movie the best they just gave it an average performance movie 
except for the fact that Chris Hemsworth's violence, performance, or emotional aspect of it was good. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe for more videos and more updates. I'll end my review here. Till next time, bye.